Hi guys, uh, welcome to the video. I'm going to record. Uh, today we we're going to talk more about uh, NDEF and the evaluated nuclear data file. So you can see on the screen NDEF, one big ENDF here. That's what it's talking about. So today I'm joined by a guest. Her name's Clara. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Yep, she says hi. Um, so uh, our goal today is to try and plot two different reactions of two different isotopes on the same diagram. So the reactions we want are sodium-23. So I'm going to type sodium-23. And that is going to undergo an N-gamma reaction, which is basically a radiative capture where the sodium-23 absorbs a neutron and gives our gamma ray. Second is uh, lithium. Uh, N alpha, so lithium 6 going under N alpha, meaning to say it absorbs a neutron and spits out an alpha particle and you get tritium from it. So it's, we want to plot the cross section uh, of these reactions across the entire range. So normally we, normally we like uh, usually have, we only like plot one kind of cross section of one kind of isotope. Uh, across the across the um, chart or something, and if you want to do this, it gets a little tricky. So this video is going to show you how to do that. So we want an N alpha reaction. So what we'll type is just N comma A. That's for N alpha. But we want two reactions, right? So you're going to put a semicolon there, and going to put the N gamma reaction. All right. So and the quantity we want is sigma. And there you go, you can just press submit. And what you'll see is all these uh, reactions here. Okay, all these reactions here. And uh, of course, if you read here, it's not going to be very telling of what the reactions are. What you need to see is this column um, that I'm highlighting. You see the lithium-6. Okay, lithium-6 and sodium-23. We want to use the NDEF-8, so we're just going to check Lithium-6 and sodium-23 here, to your left, 1 and 2, and then we are going to plot. Don't worry about the which reactions are getting plotted, because all of them are going to get plotted. Okay, so apparently, um, what we have here, we find that uh, lithium-6, uh, we have an N-gamma reaction. Sodium-23, we have an N-gamma reaction as well. And sodium has an N alpha reaction which goes to fluorine 20. So where is the uh, lithium 6 into uh, N alpha? Apparently uh, NDEF 8 may not have it, so we might want to look for some other some other library. So NDEF 8 doesn't have it. Let's go and try looking at maybe the J Gendo or whatever library. So let's uncheck these two. And we will go to this one. So I'm going to use the Gendel 4. I think it's by Japan. Okay, looks like we have a problem again. Never mind. I'll probably have to edit that out. Okay, Sendo. Right, we do have one, uh, one uh, cross-section plot where lithium uh, absorbs an N alpha reaction, N alpha, and then it gives a uh, tritium or helium three out, which is pretty much the same as what we were looking for. Now we have all these uh, cross sections here. How do we filter what we want? Take a look at the right here, and then we shall check off the ones we don't want. So we don't want to see N gamma reactions. And we don't want to see N alpha reactions for sodium. So no N gamma for lithium, no N alpha for sodium. So these are the two reactions you want. After that, I'm going to go to the bottom here. Bottom left side, it says repaint. Press repaint. And then you wait for the browser to load. And we shall have our unwanted cross sections removed. So this is basically how um, we can get two different cross sections of two different reactions of two different elements on the same chart. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.